Welcome to Handling Bomb Threats in 2012 and Beyond. What, will you, what you will learn about bomb threat safety. What to do in the event of a phone bomb threat occurring. What to do about written bomb threats at your home or business. Step to do if you find a bomb on the premises. Handling in-person bomb threats. And lastly, bomb package indicators. Employees receiving telephone threats will first stay calm and do not alarm others around you. Notify your supervisor who will report the threat. Fill out the bomb threat checklist, which should be by your phone, to assist any responding agencies. When handling a phone bomb threat, remember the decision to evacuate the building will be made by a city manager, public works director, chief of police, or building manager. Take a checklist with you if the building is evacuated. When handling written bomb threats, remember that employees receiving or discovering a written bomb threat message will do the following. Number one is remain calm and leave the message where it is found. Number two, do not handle the document any more than is necessary to preserve fingerprints and other evidence. The third step in handling a written bomb threat will be do not alarm others around you, but do report to your supervisor immediately. Number four, do not give information to anyone except the police, your supervisor, or a city emergency manager. When finding a bomb in your area, the first thing to do is to evacuate the immediate area Next, do not touch the suspected bomb and do not use your cell phone or two-way radio. Third, notify your supervisor who will report the matter immediately. Then note the size of the object, the type of container or wrappings and markings on the package, and lastly, any sound coming from the object. When receiving a bomb threat message, if you are confronted by an individual or group claiming to have a bomb or claiming to have placed a bomb, first, of course, stay calm. Next, cooperate with the individual or group. When receiving a bomb threat message, try to get the attention of the coworker. The person at a signal will call 911 and report the incident, notify your supervisor, and fill out a description of the person using the suspect description form. The person being threatened should ask the following questions. What time is the bomb going to explode? Where is it right now? What does it look like? What kind of bomb is it? What will cause it to explode? Here we can see an example of a potential bomb package with specific markings 
on the front side. In the next slide, we will discuss those markings in detail.